17 hours. That's how long every Taylor Swift song combined is. To prove I'm the biggest Swifty, I'm listening to all of them without stopping. And I'm starting right now. We're starting with her very first song ever released, Tim McGraw. Absolute classic. Who when you think Tim McGraw? There are only two rules to this challenge. Rule number one, I must be listening to Taylor Swift at all times. Rule number two, I must listen to every song she's ever done, including features. If I break either rule, I lose the challenge and must say Taylor Swift 100,000 times live. I honestly think I made this challenge a little too easy. I mean, what could go wrong, am I right? <laughs> School. Seven and a half hours where I'm not necessarily allowed to listen to music. I have a solution to this problem. Bluetooth. Mm. First period. Teacher, strict. Probability of getting caught, high. Timbers, shivered. Oh, headache, right? Hashtag relatable. <laughs> the class period was coming to an end and she had no idea I was bopping out to T-Swift this entire time. Second period. Teacher, chill as a fridge. Timbers, absolutely calm. This period was a breeze. I was pretty much just jamming out to T-Swift while playing Clash of Clans the whole time. Next up was lunch. We just absolutely de demolished $9 at Taco Bell. It was a really, 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 Third period, I didn't record anything, but don't worry, I didn't get caught. Fourth period, I left an hour early because I'm an absolute baller. So school just got out. About six hours of Taylor Swift, about 95 songs. We are currently on State of Grace acoustic version. I do have a tennis match later today that I am going to have to play with Taylor Swift in my ear. So we're gonna see how that goes. This is my opponent, Fitzgerald, weighing in at just over 497 and a half pounds. He's an absolute unit. It also just so happens that he's Jake Gyllenhaal's biggest fan. Now if you didn't know, Jake Gyllenhaal is actually Taylor Swift's ex-boyfriend. And he's an absolute jerk face. Naturally, this infuriated me. I had to win. It was a battle of the ages. I'd score, he'd score, I'd score, he'd score, I'd score, he'd score. It was very close, but in the final seconds, using the power of Taylor Swift, I hit an absolutely unreturnable serve. I did it. I proved my loyalty to Taylor Swift while listening to her music. This was easily the greatest day of my life. Nothing came close. This called for massive celebration. Unfortunately, I still had my daily tasks to do, such as practicing the piano, which I had no idea was completely broken because look what you made me do was blasting in my ear. I also needed to work out and get a little pump in, and why do I look look like that? I'm... I'm... <laughs> Working out to Taylor Swift was incredibly motivating. I 10 out of 10 recommend it. I rewarded myself with a little bit of Clash Clans and then made some ramen noodles. I was now on Taylor Swift's Lover album, and I was feeling incredibly energetic and excited about it. It felt as if though I drank 9 cups of coffee. I fell asleep. All right, so so it's currently 12.51. I'm on Taylor's last album. Um, that is how, exactly how many songs I have left. Um, I don't know how long that is. I'm really tired. So Sweet Nothing just finished. I'm now listening to Mastermind. So I'm now on The Great War, Bigger Than the Whole Skies, Paris, High Infidelity, Glitch, Four More Left. The would've, could've, should've. Dear reader, dear reader. All right, last song. Anti-hero featuring Bleacher's version, I guess. Last one. It's ending. As a victory lap, I'm going to listen to perhaps Taylor Swift's best song. Maybe even the best song of all time. This song, man. I shake it off. I, I, I shake it off. Shake it off. I, I, I 